always been a fan of hair color but never been a fan of the commitment. Today I'm sharing how to achieve ombre curls minus the commitment, damage, and regret. Beginning on old, moisturized, and detangled hair, but I do suggest that you do this on clean hair. Begin by finding your desired part and then sectioning your hair off into small to medium sized sections. Banter adding each section to keep it secure and out of the way. To achieve my temporary hair color, I'm using L'Oreal's Liquid Hair Chalk in the color Bronze Baby. Just give it a good shake, put on some gloves, and let's go. Let's begin by grabbing one of the sections from the back and begin by gently finger detangling the section before splitting it into two equal parts. Twisting one of the parts out of the way so we can focus on our first section. First, determine where exactly you want the color to be before isolating that section and then finally apply your liquid hair chalk. To massage it in, just paint it onto the hair shaft and continue massaging it as if you're applying product. To intensify the color, just add a little bit more and continue massaging it in. Breaking it through and finger detangling as you go. Notice that I'm only only breaking at the ends because I'm looking for an ombre effect. If you wanted to do your whole entire head, just do the whole entire section. The more color you add, the more intense the color would be. Once you found your desired color, holding your hair taut, blow dry your hair on cool air to lock and dry the color. Then just twist up the section and move on to the next section following the same technique. First determine where you want the color to go, then apply the color and begin to massage it into the hair. To intensify the color, add a little bit more until you find your desired look. To dry and lock in the color, just give your hair a cool blast while holding it taut, twist it up, and move on to the next section. Once all the color has been applied, take one of those sections from the back and open it up. You'll realize that the color does not transfer. Split that section into half, clipping one out of the way, and grabbing our Camille Rose Naturals Aloe with Butter Gel using about a dime size amount, placing it first at my ends and working all the way up to my roots, making sure I coat the whole entire section. Grabbing my flexi rod and placing it first at my roots before rolling the remaining hair down the length of the flexi rod. As I get to the ends, I smooth it down, pinch it to close it at the top, and bottom. Super easy. Now just finish up that section by adding one more flexi rod, closing at the top and bottom. Two flexi rods in each section, totaling to 20 flexi rods in total. Next, satin scarf and bed. The next morning, take down is super easy. Grab one of your flexi rods, open it up, slowly roll it down, and then swirl it in the opposite way of the curl. And your curls pop right up. To separate, just grab one curl at a time and begin to glide your fingers down the length of the curl until it naturally separates. Shake it out and you're done! and give it a try. Please don't be shy to like, comment, and subscribe and never forget to live in love.